And welcome and thank you for joining us here on The Factor on Censored Tonight. The Texas Education Agency's takeover of the Houston Independent School District is further pissing off some people in the community. New Superintendent Mike Miles didn't waste any time kicking some principals to the damn curb. Those principals were at Worthing High School, Everett Hare, Sharpstown High, Dan DeLeon, and at Jack Yates High School, Principal Tiffany Guillory there. Now, Superintendent Miles released a statement saying why the principals were let go or moved. My leadership team and I reviewed existing plans for the future of these schools and determined that new leadership was necessary to drive the kind of improvement these high schools needed to start preparing their students and graduates well for the workplace and the world that waits for them after high school. Now, the explanation just ain't flying for some. My guests are State Representative Ron Reynolds, elected board trustee Myrna Gidry, and State Representative and former HISD trustee member Jolanda Jones. Myrna Gidry, a current trustee, your thoughts on the termination of principals or the replacement of principals at Jack Yates, Worthing, and Sharpstown High School? Um, first of all, thank you for having me, Isaiah. But let me just say, you know, I've been pretty quiet throughout this TEA takeover. Not that I'm not incensed about it, but I felt, you know, at some point I'm going to watch, see what happens. If this is what's going to happen, I have a whole problem. Because with respect to, and let me just speak about my school, Worthing. You know, that is the school that I am the trust elected board trustee of. And Worthing is one of the schools that I happen to spend a lot of time because they are excelling in every possible way. As you know, they have that marching uh, pride of Sunnyside, uh, their early college international baccalaureate. Um, they have a business marketing CTE. I mean, they are doing wonderful things over at uh, Worthing. And my question to Mr. Mike, and the administration, did they even reach out or talk to the community? Did they give these principals an opportunity to fall into the program and let them try first before replacing them? Why take them, remove them without giving them the opportunity? These are the principals that the community, the children, the parents, everybody, they have relationships with these principals. No one was contacted. The current board certainly wasn't. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm incensed at this point, Isaiah. State Representative Jolanda Jones, we know you have some strong feelings about the school. You're a former trustee, uh, Jack Yates graduate. Your thoughts about, about these changes we're seeing now? I'm not a graduate, but everybody in my family went there, it seems like, except for me, but that's not the point. But I'm incensed because I actually called a number of principals because as a former trustee, principals trust me and the principals that I spoke to, notwithstanding the propaganda that Mike Miles is sending out, they were all concerned. They do not support this, this uh, program that he's bringing in. And he's given them the opportunity to opt in to his basic charter program where they ain't gotta have certified teachers, they ain't gotta have certified principles and then he will let them do whatever they do and basically charterize themselves and it's no it's not and, and i don't think it's coincidental that the principles that he got rid of didn't opt into his little experiment on hisd i'm very bothered because yates under my uh, when i was trustee got an ib program they are very hard to get into international baccalaureate programs. Very few of the schools that have predominantly black student body populations have IB. Yates has IB. And let me tell you something else. The, 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 the Yates alumni associations, the Yates parents, the Yates students love Tiffany Guillory. She was a principal there. Um, if you ever talk to Roland Martin, who's a proud graduate of Jack Yates High School, uh, Roland supports Tiffany Guillory. Mike Miles is doing things he is dismantling HISD, and mark my word, TDA has not taken over a school or a district that left better after they came in. So he's going to spend all the money as all these people have no connection to the neighborhood, including the people on the board of managers. 
who some of them say we grew, we we started out there where y'all been gone a long time. And not one time when I was on the board did any of the people on the board of managers come and give a care about education. But he is dismantling HISD because it is the governor and the Republicans plan to dismantle the, the seventh largest school district in the nation, the largest school district in the state that's majority minority, and they are going to experiment with it. That is what they need to do, and that is what they have done, and I am incensed. State Representative Ron Reynolds, your thoughts on these changes by the new suit or the appointed superintendent? Well, Isaiah, I think um, my colleague, <laughs> Representative Jones, is right, along with Trustee Guidry. Uh, this is the problem that we forecasted when you have an unelected board of managers that has no accountability to the community and a superintendent that is only beholden to the TA commissioner who is only basically beholden to the governor. And so these uh, people have no accountability and transparency to the communities that they serve. Uh, these principles were entrenched. Uh, they had a proven track record. And it is unfortunate that uh, this Mr. Miles will come in and disrupt things that were working, progress that was being made. And so I'm very uh, disappointed and I'm terribly concerned that this is a slippery slope and this is just the beginning uh, under the Miles administration. And so it's incumbent upon us uh, to continue to uh, uh, bring it to light, to speak truth to power, uh, to demand transparency and accountability. But that is the problem. These board of managers are not elected. So the community, they really have no voice in the stake and the outcome. And with, with, with Trustee Guidry, we can fire her if she doesn't do her job. There is no accountability, and that is one of the problems of an unelected board of managers. They're basically there to rubber stamp everything that Mike Miles wants, and Mike Miles is there to rubber stamp everything that the TEA Commissioner Mike Morath wants. They're not in touch with the community, and this was a terrible decision, and I'm I'm very concerned it's going to lead to more bad decisions oh. in the near future. Look, and and really really quick, quick, Murder Gidry, before we lose you, what is it like sitting on the sidelines, being duly elected by the people, and being powerless at this point to make any changes at HISD because the state has moved in and taken away your job, a job given to you by the people? Well, I mean, I I, I, I could say, Isaiah, what do you think it's like? Um, it's disheartening. Um, you know, I ran, and with two, two opponents, I won the race with 62% of the vote, which means my community had trust and faith in me. Um, and since I've been on the board, we have been doing great things. In fact, the plan that um, is in place right now, it has been tried and it has failed. Uh, we were trying something different, something new, and why not build on what the board had in place? Um, I, you know, I, again, I'm so disheartened at what has happened today, particularly with Principal Hare, who was on vacation when this happened to him. Uh, he didn't even know. And, and just so you know, he did opt in to the program. Uh, Yates also opted into the program. These people opted into the program believing that they would protect their staff uh, because, as you know, all of the, the 28 schools that were uh, originally cited for this program, they had to, their teachers had to reapply, their principals had to reapply. Our schools opted in in an attempt to protect their staff. Instead, they were let go. You know, I mean, I mean, it's just, it's, it, I, I just don't understand how he came to this. Where is uh, the how did he come to this decision? What was the process? All of that stuff, we have no idea about what his process was or what it is going forward. I can't even uh, talk to my community about what's going on because guess why? They haven't reached out to the board, the elected board, to sit down to have a real conversation with us to discuss our communities and what's going on in our specific area. They're not supposed to be... Um, district specific so if you're not district specific how do you know what's going on in district nine how do you know what's going on in district two how do you know other than getting with the elected board and talking to them they haven't not one time reached out to us as a collective board to discuss our district 
Don't go anywhere. We'll continue this discussion after the break. And welcome back to The Factor on Sense. We continue our coverage of the controversial staffing changes over at HISD. Three principals have been sent packing, at least for now. Miles saying he personally informed each principal about their removal from the district and sent letters to the community. Some local leaders are not impressed and not happy with the changes so far. Let's take a listen. Let's hear from State Representative Jolanda Jones. It's interesting because when I spoke to the principals I spoke to last weekend, they had not opted in yet. I'm just telling you what I know and said that they were terrified that if they didn't opt in, that exactly what you said would happen, Myrna, would happen. So I'm presuming from the weekend until Monday or sometime that they decide to opt in for probably the very reasons that you said because they were concerned about their staff. One thing. The second thing is this board of managers has literally signed on to having not certified teachers and principals and superintendent, by the way. Right. And well, one of the well you know, they had until Monday noon to opt in. So if you talk to them over the weekend, they probably at the last minute. And again, like I said, Hare wasn't even here. It was his staff that they felt they were coerced into opting did. into this program. They did. And I will tell you, now we have an uncertified superintendent. We have teachers that are uncertified. We have principals that are uncertified. And Myrna, will you please tell them how all the board wanted to do was for you to give them your constituents that you worked hard to earn, right? They didn't yeah. want to like meet with them. They were, she was, they were like, give me your intellectual property. That's what we yeah. want so that we can reach out to these people. And also tell them, Myrna, that not one person on the board of managers actually lives in her district. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. So I have no one on the board yes. of managers in District 9. So my, my point is, how do you know what's going on in the neighborhood? Well, you're not from the neighborhood. You're not even talking to people from the neighborhood. And, and they were elected. And I am telling you that Mike, this, this is a hoodwink and bamboozle, right? It was set up. They're trying to make it seem like it's above board. It's not. And they're going to destroy HISD. And I hate that the children are forced to go to a school where they don't care about them and they are charterizing HISD is what they're doing. All right. We want to thank you all for joining us here on The Factor on Sins. It's still a lot of unanswered questions out there. And of course, we will keep asking the questions. Thank you guys for joining us here on The thank Factor you, on Sins tonight.